In today's video, I'd like to give you a few tips and tricks about how we can do the circle of fifths very quickly. And so, for example, one question that might really come up is how do I determine what key signature has three sharps or maybe five sharps or whatever? So we're going to talk about the sharps now, which are the dominant side. And so if you recall, the dominant side of the circle of fifths was the side that was on the right side of the circle of fifths. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I know that the circle of fifths is going to start with C. And I know that C has zero sharps. And then from there, we go three scale, I'm sorry, five scale degrees. That's why it's called the circle of fifths. And we have one sharp. And then we go five scale degrees. And we have two sharps. And we go uh, five scale degrees from there. And that's going to be three sharps. We go another five scale degrees. And that's going to give us four sharps. Another five scale degrees. That gives us five sharps. Another five scale degrees. And that gives us six sharps. Now, I can think of this as maybe being the skipping method, where if I go C to D to E to F sharp, these are all whole steps. And then I would start again from G from here, and I'd go G to A to B. So if I had to build the dominant side very quickly, I could write it out maybe something like this. I could go C and leave a little space. D, leave some space. So maybe we'll kind of write the spaces in here. C, D, E, F sharp, just leaving some space. And then I can come back and fill these in. G, A, B. And hopefully you can see a little bit of a pattern there. So it makes it very quick and easy to think about. So uh, what scale has three sharps? Well, that would be A. But I could go a little bit more in depth with this question. Let's actually maybe kind of review that a little bit. And so let's over here, let's ask another question. How about what scale, what scale has five sharps? What major key has five sharps? Okay, so let's start again. Let's see, we've got C, G, D, A, E, so we've got one, I'm sorry, zero sharps, one sharp, two sharp, three sharp, four sharp, five sharps. Okay, so that's going to be a B major. It's going to give us five sharps. So very quick and easy way to write this out. Now my next question for you is, well, what sharps are they? That might be a little tougher, but let's see. I want to think to myself, what is, and this is a little bit of a trick, what is a half step before G? Why do we not start with C? Well, C has no sharps. There's zero in there, so we don't have to worry about that. So what is a half step before G? The note that is a half step before G is F sharp. Then what is a half step before D? And that is C sharp. What is a half step before A? And that is G sharp. What is a half step before E? And that is D sharp. What is a half step before B? And that is A sharp. And now I've quickly, very, very quickly, I've ascertained what key signature has five sharps. And I've also determined what sharps are actually going to be uh, in that key signature. So in the key of B major, it's going to have B, uh, it's going to have an F sharp, a C sharp, a G sharp, a D sharp, and an A sharp. So if I needed to build that scale very quickly, I could start with B. And you know, I could write out my skeleton just like we always do. And now I can go ahead and just throw my sharps in there. Oh, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, and there you have it. That would be the B major scale built very, very quickly using the circle of fifths. And this is sort of one of the reasons why we want to memorize it, why why musicians kind of think so highly of the circle of fifths. It helps us to access information very, very quickly. If I had to sort of organically know this, uh, I'd either have to memorize it, which is not impossible, but or the other option is that I have to derive this every single time, starting with whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And that could be a little bit tedious, especially if you're not very comfortable with sharps or flats or whatnot. Let's do maybe one more example. And let's ask another question. And in this question, let's ask, what has two sharps? So we're going to ask the, what is two sharps here? Two sharps. So what has two sharps? And we want to know what they are. So we would start with, okay, I know C has zero, G has one, D has two. Ah, there we go. Okay, now what are my sharps? Very quickly, I would think. 
C has no sharps, G has one sharp, it's the half step before a G, and that means it's going to be F sharp. F sharp, and then I think what is a half step before D? And that would give me C sharp. Okay, and so then you go, well, what's the scale? Let's build it very quickly. And you'd go, well, the scale here would be for D major, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and back to D. And there you have it. That's how we can go uh, through the scales very, very quickly using the circle of fifths.